Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. 44 Heavy coming at you here. Got a couple things to go over today. I'm going to be doing an unboxing and I'm going to be announcing a group build. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this is going to be a fun group build. It's going to be a group build that people want to jump on. It's going to be a long one. Um, because it's, it's, I think it's going to be or has the potential to be a fairly involved build for most of the, uh, the participants. Um, so we'll get right into everything. All right, so my notes aside here. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take a look at this car with you. The 2017 Camaro SS1LE. I bought this car um, off from eBay, and it came through with no glass. It had no glass, no headlights, no tail. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, I've looked at the car a couple times trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. And um, between that and the group build idea, um, that's where I came up with this group build. So, get right into this. First off, I'll, I'll take this out. The engine itself was started, and all, all of the pieces are clipped off. Let's move just a little bit closer to you. So, anyways, the engine started, and I think most of the engine pieces for it are in that bag. So, a lot of this car I'm not going to use. But, anyways, here's your seats. Here. Probably not getting used. We're probably going to use the hood. Um, more engine parts. Got uh, some of the fascias, uh, your interior, your engine bay tub. Uh, differentials, intake, um, suspension components that we may or may not use, some of it, the back kind of balance, um, gas tank, more suspension, like a, almost like a cradle thing in your exhaust. And we're going to do the body here. So you can see how that's flat right in there. And it has a rough 90, like a real hard angle right there. I think that lends itself to having like a race interior. And so here's where I'm going to announce the group build. The group build is going to be, put some notes here. So the group build is going to be Monsters, Megas, and Polars. And the reason for that is I, I haven't seen a group build like that. Um, I've seen a couple of build, people build monster trucks, and I, and I love those videos. And uh, seen a couple of mud machines built; those were cool. But um, uh, locally around here, we we've got this uh, racetrack. It's about an hour from here, uh, Lebanon Valley, and they do monsters and megas every year. So they set up this race course and they have monster trucks race against mega mud machines. And I think that's really cool. Um, I've never had the opportunity to get down and see that particular show, but anyway. So this group build is going to run from August. I'm sorry. It's going to run from October 7th. So I'm probably going to try to drop this video around October 1st. It's going to run from October 7th to August 1st. Now, the reason for that is I think it's really cool to start a group build on my birthday. So there's that piece. Um, 
and it'll give you all winter to work on one or two or however you know whatever you enter um and get get the build kind of worked out i think it's, i was kind of working in my head here and then it will give you the summer if you want to take your time and paint the build and get it ready and for me i looked at it and i'm like you know pullers and monster mud trucks or monster mud machines and monster trucks you see, you see them at like county fairs so i thought well that's gonna that's gonna go hand in hand the, the vehicle will be finished or however many entries you do will be finished in what feels like the right time to take it right out to the fair and run it through the mud pit or run it over the crush cars or pull a sled so the i think the guidelines or parameters to this project is i i, I don't intend for this to be a daily driver it's not it's not a jacked up four by four that you're going to drive to the fairgrounds run it through a mud pit and then drive it back home it's uh it's a specifically modified race machine that's made to pull a sled and needs to be hauled there that's made to run through a mud pit or jump over crushed cars um so there's that part uh i've just i've just said basically the, the third guideline i wanted it needs to be some sort of monster truck or monster motor and uh i i think there's so many fiberglass bodies out there and so many the, the 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 3d bodies like you see monster trucks they're shaped like dinosaurs you see uh monster trucks that have been like narrowed or, or the mud machines that have been narrowed just to kind of fit over that, that seat that cabin area so i think this has a great opportunity to be modified into that and um I think if we if we cut off the sun's coming out I hope that doesn't wash out the video I think I think if I were to cut out like the center console here I can either put a flat piece of steel uh, flat piece of plastic in there to represent like a, a full flat steel floor this is going to get a tube frame underneath of some sort and we cut out the back seats I want to put a fuel cell down in here but I want to retain because this is going to be a monster mud machine I want to retain the car shape and um, I'm probably going to leave the body lines in it because I want to have it look like the doors do open. Because I think in a lot of those mega mud machines, the doors still open. You can get in and out of them like a typical vehicle versus having to go through the floor or go through a window. And uh, back when I did the unboxing for the Jeep Poncho, I revealed these four tires that I had. And I think those will work good on this car. I don't have a rim yet for it. What I'm probably going to do is measure the opening. The opening's the same on either side. And try to buy a set of 3D printed from somebody. Who's going the same direction. But I think this looks really cool. I'll probably cut the fenders. And uh, a little bit. And if I can't find, I think that looks neat. Look at that. If I can't find uh, rims for these tires, I'll just buy a set of uh, 3D printed. I know uh, MCV, MC, MCV products, Matthew Inman, I bought from him before. I really like uh, doing business with him. Uh, so I know he offers a set of uh, the Mega Mud tires. And I was also looking around on his website last night and I found the engine that's going in this car. It's been, this car is getting a blown 632 um so i'm buying that from him also you can look if you're watching this uh matthew you can look forward to those orders here coming down the road because that's what i plan on doing um so that's that's pretty much that's pretty much it we got uh we got the group build announcement I, I hope you join it um and i hope the people that have hosted group builds if you join this one i mean I think it's like a 10 month build when everything's said and done cost me some some input i i like i think 
you usually say to, to tag the the hosting channel in your your updates so do that i know enough to say that um uh we have the facebook page now uh glassberry designs model building post your post your photos on there your videos on there um your updates and uh post your final on there and uh i'll try to save the photos as i go and if i miss yours then reach out to me direct uh, i think you can you can either message me through the facebook group or you can I'll leave uh, an email where you can hit me as well. Um, and just remind me, because uh, I, I think I think a lot of people like monster truck racing and like the like that that segment of motorsports. So I think it has the potential to be a, a, a fairly involved build if, if I'm if I'm imagining this correctly. So anyways, till we see each other again, everybody out there be safe. Everybody be blessed. Thank you for watching, and I hope you join this building.